going on everyone? My name is Dan and in today's video we're going to take a look at this Samsung Beat DJ. I got this Samsung Beat DJ from Mobile Phone Collections. Mobile Phone Collections is on Instagram and make sure you give him a follow because he has a great collection of phones and he has a lot of pictures documenting his collection. It is an incredibly nice looking collection and you should definitely check it out if you're into obscure phones, you got a lot. And uh, yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this Samsung Beat. So I bought this Samsung Beat for 10 bucks. It had a passcode lock on it, I did not know if I was able to get that off. Now fortunately enough, one of my contacts had the sauce and I was able to get the software and actually flash it and remove the passcode. So now we have this Samsung Beat and I'm just going to go ahead and get into some of the features of the phone on the outside and we're going to look at the software features on the inside a little bit later. So the phone was released on the 17th of April 2009 so it's a pretty old phone. On the front of the device we find a 2.6 inch OLED panel which has a resolution of 240 by 400 pixels and a pixel density of 179 pixels per inch. The internal storage of the device is 50 megabytes. Here we have a capacitive screen. On the back of the device we find a pretty funny looking little camera. This is a 3.2 megapixel camera with a LED flash and autofocus. On the top of the device being a music phone, we find a 3.5mm headphone jack and two speakers on the top. On the right hand side we have a SD card slot, a dedicated camera button, on the bottom of the device we have the place where you can pull the back cover off so let's just do that for a second and two more speakers and right here is a microphone so it has four speakers or maybe two in stereo but um, I think that it might have four speakers it's a Bang & Olufsen phone as you can see here and on the left hand side of the device we have a micro USB port a lock and mp3 switch volume rockers and a little bracket for a card behind the battery cover obviously we have a battery a standard sim slot and that's about it there's not really much to talk about behind the battery door on this device since the most of the parts and the slots are on the outside of this device so yeah it's pretty cool it's a real music phone and uh, it looks like a little jukebox now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it on take a look at the boot screen and um, look at the music features of this device because it got a few features which are pretty interesting so as you can see that was a special intro like a special boot screen for the music phone most of the music phones actually have a dedicated uh, intro tune which features a little beat in it or uh, visuals or both as you can see, this is like the Java interface that you find on most of these devices. It only has one page. Sliding it brings us to the menu. We have a couple of widgets here on the side. Not really sure what these widgets do. There's not a label beneath them. Oh, widget settings. Here we can find them like BDJ, Find Music. So it has a dedicated music recognition software. Communities, Analog Clock, Digital Clock, Dual Clock, Calendar, MySpace, Facebook, YouTube, pretty old logo right there, Photos, Birthdays, Today, Profiles, Games, Top 3, Go on a Diet, Stop Smoking, Widget Memo, uh, Voice Recorder, Photo Contacts, Message Composer, Message Inbox, Memo, Calculator, Bluetooth, Timer, Alarm, Sound Settings, SFC, Samsung Fun Club, Help, Photo Bucket, Flickr, Picasa, Friendster, and that's about it. We got a whole lot of widgets going on that we can enable and disable. Even Equator is here, a Google shortcut. We got a lot of stuff going on for a phone like this because it's not really a smartphone, I guess, but it does have a lot of smartphone features. Now let's take a look at the applications real quick, so that's where we find a lot of the device uh, applications and stuff. As you can see we got RSS Reader, Stopwatch, Timer, Synchronizer, Bluetooth, Voice Recorder, Games and More, FM Radio and Communities. Now if we go to Games and More we could probably find 
some applications here we have tumbling dice google maps brain challenge brick breaker diamond twister dj mix tour millionaire 3 pyramid box so i guess that these except for google maps are so that's basically it for that so it has google uh, it has internet messages my files an organizer camera as you can see here we got the camera going so you got the flash Oh yeah, it makes pictures what you would expect from that era with a 3.2 megapixel camera it's not that impressive but yeah for its time it's definitely average so here's where it becomes interesting we have beat dj which is basically an entire dj software like virtual dj on a phone so the music player is pretty interesting because you got multiple things to do here so here we have the music player i'm just gonna lower the volume a little it's really loud at this point but um what you can do here is basically features that you can find in virtual dj like scratching the fennel we have filters as well so we can add flanger refurb high pass low pass band pass tempo chains pitch shift, auto pan, echo, and a looper. So as you can see here, I can actually rotate over the display and basically the bezel underneath, and the phone will respond. It's like a little fennel. So as you can tell, I can go around the settings here and find something. So we can actually go ahead and lower the speed of the song by going around here. We can also increase the, the speed. And uh, you, yeah, you can also do the pitch shift so you can make it like a deeper sound or a higher pitched sound, so... Yeah, you can do a lot of stuff, so I'm not really sure about the other things that we have flanger here. Refurb is more noticeable with like uh, songs that have text in it, but you can basically just make it like... Give it some crazy effects. You can give it echo as well, you can loop sections, you can pan it and everything. There are a couple of uh, samples going on here, hi-hat, snare, kick, bass, turn off, shutter. Yeah, there's are uh, sound effects that you can just add in. So basically what you could do back in the day is just DJ with this thing and there's even a record button up here that makes you able to record a live remix like this. So it's pretty cool that that phone has features like that. Now uh, I'm going out of the music DJ player and we're actually gonna go into the normal music player because it obviously does have a normal music player as well. And over here we have the volume and we can also increase and decrease the volume with the same way that we could just scroll through songs. There's a shortcut for the DJ feature, we can go into uh, this and send it, send as, details, settings and all that. And go next back whatever we have a lot of features here in the music player itself the other things we got are in the internals of the device and uh, yeah like i said we have a lock switch which locks the device slightly messed up but yeah there we go it's locked unlock and we there we are in the music player by holding it down or just pressing it down once uh, it has a connectivity 2G, Edge 2G, GPRS 3G, HSPDA 3G, and UMTS. It does not have Wi Fi, it does have Bluetooth 2.0 and EDR. Plus, it has GPS. It has FM radio with the headset, hands free. It has T9 prediction, vibration, and a voice recorder. The battery has a standby time of 400 hours and a talk time of 7 hours. It's a 960 milliamp hour lithium ion battery by 51 millimeter by 13 millimeter and only a weight of 98 grams. So that's it for the Samsung Beat DJ. This video was recorded on my Samsung Galaxy K Zoom. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, and if you're new to my channel and don't want to miss out on any new content in the future, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and see y'all later. Peace out.